Hello and welcome everyone to Roofing Insights. Today we're talking about gutter guards again. A couple months ago we did pretty big video, best and worst gutter guards and it was a hit. We got a lot of engagement, a lot of people are asking questions. Not a surprise that on the roofing channel we talk about gutters because gutters are right next to roofing. Uh, almost all the roofers install gutters, some kind of gutter system. So we talk about them a lot and one question that was common uh, pretty often in the last couple of weeks. It's a question about the cost. Uh, in our video, we talk about MicroMesh as being one of the best products, uh, like something like this. This one here will do the job. I do like the design. I do like how much metal it has on the back. So it kind of makes it nice and solid. And uh, one of the biggest players in the MicroMesh uh, <clears throat> market is a company called Leaf Filter. In this video, I just wanted to talk about cost. And the reason uh, I actually decided to make this video because of the comments. So one of them came from Armando Rodriguez about a week ago. And Armando is saying that he had terrible experience with a leaf filter. Uber aggressive sales rep trying to push $9,000 product down my throat, suggesting that's, that's why we want wives to be present when demoing. It took 30 minutes to sit through his 50 page three ring binder and finally negotiate down from 9,000 to 6,700 to 6,250 to 58 and then to $4,400, which would result in him only getting a gift card and maybe being able to take his kids out to eat. It was ridiculous and hard to tell what should really be paid. I wanna be the consumer advocate and I wanna explain why Armando here experienced what he experienced. So right here, he has initial offer of $9,000 from Leaf Filter and down uh, at the end of the sales pitch, the sales rep was willing to give it at $4,400. I would say leaf filter sales model, uh, as I know it, and I know it because I actually employed three people in the past who came from leaf filter uh, brand. I mean, big company, 100 million plus uh, annual sales, good product, we have nothing against the product, but there is a sales pitch need some attention to say the least. They are what we hate the most in sales pitches when you, when sales guys always to try to get the most. So uh, to my understanding, Leaf Filter will start their pitch at $32 a foot. And uh, I would say being in business and roofing and gutter business and seeing their product, their cost is probably, I mean, should not exceed six bucks. I mean, if they pay more than six, I mean, I'll be very surprised. So how much should they be selling it for? So what I've seen and heard from sales reps and from uh, comments and reviews like this, that a lot of people are getting super high, like on a high end, $32 per linear foot and uh, $12, that's what I've heard from sales guys, what they would be willing to sell. So still super profitable. That's probably where Armando get his $4,400. My recommendation to somebody like Leaf filter would be to change the business model where you actually meet, and I'm not giving them business advice per, per se, but this is what we hate in the selling process. Nobody likes to go to dealership and get pitched car for 30 grand and walk away with 20. I mean, negotiations should take place, but not this kind of negotiation. It already left many, many industries. In our industry, it still exists. A couple of big, big players in the roofing business and the gutter business still apply the system. So that's why I'm making a video. How much should you pay for leaf filter? We find that reasonable would be up to 20. So if you have 12 to 20 bucks, I would say it's very reasonable. For example, uh, I think my company, we install um, MicroMesh, we charge $12, $14 based on a few factors, how tall is your house, you know, how complicated it is, geography, how far it is. Obviously, if we have to drive two hours, we might add some fuel cost or something like that. But $12, $14, maybe, you know, let's say $15, bucks, that's, it's reasonable, it's profitable. Profit margins are good. You can back it up with a good warranty if something fails. I don't personally see the reason to go and try to, you know, sell something at, I don't know, like 600% profit margin. I mean, 
you just don't need to sell six dollar product at 32 now if you can good for you but leaf filter literally have been selling jobs i mean nine thousand dollars is the cost of the roof i mean think about it and they trying to get it here and then they're willing to give it away at cost and my understanding that at cost and you can actually read it in this review that sales guy is not getting commission where a company is still profitable so how much should you pay for leaf filter i would say no more than 20 dollars i would be paying about 12 13 i found it reasonable now you know it now you know how to negotiate with them if you're a leaf filter maybe you want to redesign your uh, sales process a little bit because reviews like this in the next couple of years are going to keep coming up because that's how your sales reps work. You start at a high, you drop too low, people question your price and your integrity. Hope it helps guys. Good luck with Lee Fielder, not a bad product, just be careful with their price. Thank you so much for coming guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you want your roof to live a longer life, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.